What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are all having a great weekend so far. It's currently Tuesday, November 23rd, about three o'clock in the afternoon right now. Today's video, I actually wanted to talk about, do a little recap on the entire year as a flipping business from uh, Ricky and I's perspective on total profit and kind of just talk a little bit about each and every flip that we've had. I don't think I've done an overall video before. Um, but to sum it up very quickly for you guys, we are over $800,000 in profit, which I think is awesome to like really look back at because this is the first year where we actually took it on full time. And to be honest with you, this is actually kind of the first six months where it's kind of a full time business now because I was still getting settled in uh, at the first half of 2021 where you guys will be able to see uh, when I open up this Word document that uh, the first couple months of the year we only had really had two flips. Um, and then pretty much exactly at the six month mark of this year, we really started to pick up. Uh, obviously our goals for next year is to continue to progress. Um, so this video is also very eye-opening for me to kind of really look at some of the th pros and cons that we have as a flipping business, some things that we can work on, and um, obviously this will allow us to set a little bit more goals for ourselves as well. Um, we've done a total of, let me look actually, let me actually sh minimize myself right here, we can actually get started. We've done a total of actually only seven flips this year, which blew my mind because I thought we did a lot more, but we actually only have seven that we renovated and closed on this year. We have three active ones, but I do not think any of these active ones that we're working on right now will be sold in 2021 just because we have to list them. And generally, once you list a property, it's about 30 days to close. So we would essentially have to get one of these properties up and running within the next week here, which is not happening. But let's start off with the very first property. Uh, this was actually picked up in 2020 and we actually sold it in 2021. So it was a great way to start the year. And we're gonna have a couple properties like that this year where we buy them in 2021. We don't actually sell them and profit on them in 2022. This one was located in Mesa, Arizona. This was like the first real flip that I had, like where we had to tear down walls. We had a $60,000 renovation on it. This was a total profit of $61,000. We actually were in escrow two different times on this property. It's the first time that's ever happened uh, as an agent not only for our flips, but just in general, where the seller, where the buyer's financing actually fell through. Um, so we actually got to keep the first escrow, uh, their EMD or their earnest money deposit, which is exactly why there is earnest money deposit for situations like that. Um, so the first escrow, we actually made $4,000. We then relisted it and um, made an additional six, or an additional $57,000, which made our total profit $61,000. This was a longer project because I was still learning the ropes. So this probably could have taken about 80 days if I knew a little bit better, but this was like the first big one. Um, so our profit per day wasn't crazy. Our best profit per day will be a little bit lower on here. Um, the next flip that we had was actually through a wholesaler. And this was right when the market really started picking up, like where just prices like every single week felt like they're going up. So I feel like this big profit margin we had on here was because it was just the time that we bought this flip. I feel like if we bought it right now, we wouldn't profit as much, but we just bought it at the perfect time, sold it at the perfect time. Uh, fairly straightforward project, 49 days, which was our record at the time for the fastest flip. I believe it still may be our record because uh, you guys got to think 30 days of that 49 days was just the, essentially the closing process of it. Um, so we only really had it for an additional 19 days ab uh, before that which made our total profit per day $858, totaling a $39,000 profit. So although it doesn't look as nice as the first one, uh, we just didn't hold it as long, so our money was not tied up, which is essentially what we wanna look at. We're really looking for profit per day on a lot of these, because that's what really determines kind of the best flip. It's not necessarily your overall profit, because sometimes we hold on to these a really long time, sometimes we have a lot more money tied up. So the best way to gauge how good or how well we do is profit per day. Um, so this one was really good. It's still one of our best ones we've ever had. I, I personally think this next flip right here was the Goodyear one. This was when things really started picking up in July. I think we sold like two huge flips in July, which was just like a, a pivot point in the whole flipping, in our whole flipping business. Um, this was also our first direct to seller lead, 
which was straight from a finders, which was straight from a bird dog from social media. So they actually presented us with the seller and we got a really good deal on it. This is, if I were to say this was like the best flip we've ever done, it would be this one by far. Um, we got uh, $1,451 a day, which is incredible. 65 day timeline, which I think is really good for the amount of work that we did to it. And then a total profit of $94,000. We sold this in July. Now moving on to our biggest flip we've ever done. A lot of you guys know about this one. It's the Paradise Valley flip, the multi-million dollar flip that we did. Uh, we got it for 2.3, sold it for, I think, I don't know exactly, I think it was actually 3,095,000. I'm not quite sure, but uh, these numbers are accurate because I pulled them straight from uh, the Excel sheet. Um, total profit per day was $3,526. We only held this one for 137 days. The majority of that was actually just trying to find a buyer for it. We only had the renovation process going on for, I believe, about four to six weeks. Um, so this was like, honestly, it was our biggest profit. It was our biggest profit per day. Um, but I don't know, something about the Goodyear one, I feel like it was just like an overall good flip. Uh, this one, we just found like a really good deal on it. We took a lot more risk on this as well because yeah, like it's really hard to comp a property like this. So we were just taking on a lot more risk, um, but it definitely pays off. So higher risk, higher reward, I guess you can say. That was a total profit of almost half a million dollars in um, basically, we didn't even do any of the work. We hired out contractors for it. So it was crazy. Like it just goes to show like the more money you have or the more the more money you have set aside to invest, um, you, you just get a lot more opportunities presented to yourself. So someone actually knew that uh, Ricky, my business partner, was looking to flip properties. They knew that he had the capital to do so. So um, that's exactly what happened. Someone brought us the opportunity. We brought the capital. We worked together on it and everyone made a really, really good profit on this. So that's another good one that we're always going to remember. Uh, this one, we actually was our first JV deal where we partnered up with the person that actually found the deal. Um, so we split this profit three ways, but still a very, very good profit. This was still when the market was really pushing up. We sold it in August. $856 a day, another really strong profit. 87 total days on this project, and we made a total profit of $75,000, which is great. We had to split that one uh, multiple ways. Uh, so it wasn't just a profit for Ricky and I, we actually had to uh, add someone else to that profit rev share, which is the first time we've ever done that besides the Paradise Valley one. Um, the next one was the most recent Gilbert flip. We got this from a wholesaler. Um, the, the, only the, the reason why we made so much from a wholesaler on this is because they didn't run their after renovation value comps too well at all. So the moment that I saw this getting listed, it wasn't that they listed it super low, they just thought that we would only be able to make 400 or they thought the ARV was going to be $480,000. And the moment I saw that, I was like, there's no way this is going to get way more than 480. Um, so I knew it was going to get five to 525 and sure enough it did. So they, they listed it thinking that, or they were selling it to um, an investor thinking that this would sell for $480,000. Um, so they sold it to us for 401 in hindsight, if like, if if we if I thought we would be able to sell it for 480, I wouldn't have not taken this deal because the margins are very very small. Uh, we made a total profit of $720 a day. The main reason why I think this was such a successful flip is just because of the timeline on it. I was so on top of this. This was by far the most on top of my contractors that I've ever been. Uh, less than two months time, and it was a pretty much a full cosmetic and a little bit of uh, we tore down a couple. Uh, pony walls and stuff like that as well. So we sold this in October, right when things are starting to cool down a little bit. So I believe if we sold this a month earlier, we probably could have gotten a little bit more out of it. Total profit of $42,000. I think that's still great. That's more of like a standard flip. Uh, now, this is the one we sold last week in Queen Creek. Queen Creek. This was directly from a social media follower, actually. They just needed to get out of their house. And I'm actually in the process of finding him another house right now as a real estate agent. Um, so we bought this for 351. It was $674 a day on this, 52 days total. I believe we could have done this a little bit faster, um, but we actually gave them two weeks after we bought it. So that kind of messed or skewed our data within uh, the profit per day and our timeline. Because if we started renovating it right away, this would by far be the quickest project we've ever had. 
Um, this was by far the least amount we've ever spent on a project. It was pretty much move in ready. We just had to do a little bit of work. Total profit of $35,000 which brings our overall yearly profit to date or year to date profit uh, $829,000 or $2,543 a day. Now you guys want, I want to look back at this like the first, the second property we sold this year was in April. So that was already four months into the year. And then right, like I said, right when we hit July, things started really taking off Two in July, we sold one in August, we sold one in October, we sold one in November. So um, we're trying to do two properties a month or average to 24 properties a year. One thing that we really or I really want to focus on as a business next year, and it's I think it's our bottleneck of our whole business is we need to stop relying so much on wholesalers to give us deals. We need to do our either our own paid marketing, which we really need to figure out or we need to and we and or we really need to push our social media marketing as well. Um, so those are things that we really need to work on. It's not necessarily finding more contractors or having the capital to do more flips. We just really need to focus on getting our own deals where we can see really, really good margins in those. So if we can get 24 properties next year, average, let's say $30,000 a uh, profit a flip. So you're gonna do 30,000 times 24 properties would give us about $720,000 in profit. $30,000 profit in each one is very conservative. And I want to say as a disclaimer this year, if we did not get this Paradise Valley flip right here, this $483,000 flip, that was basically about half of our margin this year. Um, so yes, like this $720,000 right here, um, it is less than what we did this year, but we kind of just had that, like, that unicorn property that just basically gave us half of our margin in one specific property. So um, my goal next year is to just be a little bit more consistent. Obviously, if we can get those unicorn deals that can give us over a million dollars profit, that would be awesome. But we're just trying to get more consistency next year, trying to kind of build our foundations or build the foundation from the ground up as a business um, so we can just really get that consistency. And then finally, here are our three active flips and when I think they're actually gonna be listed. We have our Chandler one that we are almost done with. So this may even get listed in November. I'm not 100% sure. We actually have our final week right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait until just December to list it anyways. Um, we have another Chandler one that we haven't even started yet because we gave the seller a basically a 60 day post possession. So we already have almost $350,000 tied up into this Chandler house right here, but we haven't even started work on it. So this is gonna really skew our data because we're gonna have 60 days on our timeline that we didn't even do any work to it whatsoever. So this property right here is probably not gonna look so good on profit per day or timeline. Um, but like I said, we're just trying to build that consistency up. We're not trying to look for some incredible profits. We're just trying to get that consistent, steady profit each and every month. Uh, so we're probably not even gonna list this until February 2022, which is fine. Like building that pipeline up um, is really, really exciting so we can start the new year off strong. And then we have our Florence one that we are just starting renovations on that will probably be listed close towards the end of December, sell it hopefully January-ish, which will give us a nice little start to the year as well. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do have any questions about flipping, uh, getting started, if you guys do want to invest in real estate here in the Arizona area, I'm a licensed real estate agent. Uh, I focus on working with clients that want to invest. A lot of my clients are out of state as well. I love to work with you guys right now. I own four personal property. I own four rental properties right now, so I'm pretty experienced in what to look for, cash flow and everything like that. You guys can follow me on Instagram. You guys can follow me on TikTok. I post on those almost daily, so you guys can follow me a lot closer on there. Be sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.